infected with Ebola right here in the U.S. And this new image, Nina Pham, just 26, right there with her dog Bentley. Tonight, she and that dog in isolation. And a SWAT team of experts there at her apartment in Dallas armed with decontamination kits. You can see one of them there disinfecting the doorway. Tonight, what we are now learning about how she contracted Ebola was it a breach at the hospital, and who else may be vulnerable now? And this evening, the chilling new warning from the CDC, there could be more cases. Late today, these images from Boston's Logan Airport as well. That flight coming in from Dubai, teams of workers in protective gear boarding a plane after a report of passengers with flu-like symptoms. ABC's chief editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is standing by to answer your questions tonight. But first, ABC's Tom Yamas in Dallas tonight. Tonight in this Dallas hospital, the medical staff treating an Ebola patient who is one of their own, nurse Nina Pham, just 26 years old. Hope that everything goes well and, you know, that she gets, you know, real well fast. Pham tonight totally isolated, in stable condition. She was part of the team who treated Thomas Eric Duncan, the first person to die of Ebola in America. When she came to work each day, Pham suiting up head to toe, a gown, a face mask and shield, two layers of gloves, and shoe covers. Protected, but not as much as doctors in specialized biocontainment hospitals with chemical resistant jumpsuits, taping gloves to sleeves, and suits to boots. Pham had extensive contact with Duncan, and one day, still don't know how she became infected. Pham was very close to the hospital. It's less than a 10 minute drive. She lives in this upper middle class Dallas neighborhood. This is her apartment right here. You can see it's completely roped off and there's a no trespassing sign on the front door because a second round of disinfecting is happening right now. The machine that looks like a giant hair dryer, a static sprayer used to disinfect and inside this tub, the extreme cleaning agent. So this is hydrogen peroxide. It's a very high concentration of hydrogen peroxide uh, compared to what you would have at home would be, say, a tricycle. This is a Learjet. At the CDC tonight, a race against time to find out if anyone else who treated Duncan is infected. If this one individual was infected, and we don't know how, within the isolation unit, then it is possible that other individuals could have been infected. When Duncan was diagnosed, the CDC spoke to as many as 100 people who may have had contact with him. 48 are still under close watch, but Nina Pham was not in that group. The CDC believes that since she started showing symptoms, she's only been in contact with one close friend and her dog, Bentley. And tonight, Bentley's in quarantine as well. David, we hear that Nina Pham is video chatting with her parents today, but some of her fellow nurses tell us they're scared. They wonder whether she did everything right, everything she was taught, but somehow still contracted Ebola. David?